You know it. You love it. It's your boy, Storyteller Starmeg. Oh boy, we should have been through a lot through these streams, am I right? And so many stories too. I'm definitely pushing this title of mine to the best I can. So it is time for another precious story from the Yoko Taro first. But first, it's advertisement time. Today's story time is sponsored by a Accord's Weapon Shop with over one for one. 440 locations across the world, Accords offers the finest selections of weapons from across the ages from all your combat Android needs, all present in mint, mint condition, almost as if are plucked from across time and space, it's a... Wait, what? What do you mean I can't advertise in the street? Oh, come on, you know how much I'm getting out of this? Nothing! The snake guy doesn't even pay me at all! Yes? No? No? Yes? Look, I... Okay, okay, I swear. I bet. I, I bet he's not even a real snake, okay? Uh, okay, fine. I'll start the story time, but you better let me plug the sponsor a little bit at the end, you hear? <sighs> well, this is definitely. would be. well, definitely would put someone in a bad mood, alright? But I gotta be a better man. Mm, machine man, I guess. Just let it roll with the flow. Don't wanna come up as look, some kind of cardless jerkwad. Especially not like the person in today's story, that's for sure. You see, children, there once was a name named Tyran. And he was quite a nasty egg, as you may know. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me rewind a little bit. <clears throat> Before there was a man named Tyran, there was a man called Yura Masayoshi. And he was a nasty, nasty man. He was a terrible person. Even with the, within the world in chaos, he continued to be an angry, sadistic, opportunistic, and psychotic piece of work. Such a detestable human being. But alas, as much as everybody, and I mean everybody, hated his guts, he had a very cushy position as commander of the military branch of the of this big organization. He was such a jerk, abusing and torturing soldiers for the hell of it, he even enjoy bullying poor old go boy Emil. The name of that guy. Luckily, there was one person who took no crap from him. Another big head in the organization, an older woman known as Kali. She was very good at keeping him in line. And she was the one providing the funds for starters. Plus, she had quite a mouth to put him right in his place. So one day, she ordered him to guard for her mansion. Which, signs show that to be nearby the current path of the Legion. There was so much valuable stuff in that mansion, but most importantly for Kali, it was where her granddaughter was residing. As predicted, the mansion soon came under attack by the Legion. Things got hectic real quick. Boom, bang, explosions and fire all over. P-33 robots deployed in fight. The Legion members, children with all kinds of magic fighting to, against the salt creatures. Leaping and crawling, everything and everyone in its path. Yura witnessed all of this go down, and then decided to run the heck away and leave everyone else to their fates. You would imagine that did not really go well with his superiors. It was a miracle that Kali's poor granddaughter was saved by some wandering young lad who had somehow managed to end up there looking for his sister. But that's not really relevant right now. The important thing was that the folks on the high chairs were pissed. And Yura was quickly stripped of rank and privilege, much to his anger. Sometime later, Project Gestalt was finally set into motion. Yura knew about the project, but he also knew there was no way he would be allowed to participate after the crap he had pulled. But what would he do? Well, what he always did, whistle his way into his own self-benefit. So with an identity challenge, Yura was no more and Tyrant managed to slip into the list of participants for Project Gestalt. But karma is a powerful kill. Think, children, and even in this gloomy universe, it can pop out and bite you right in the butt. The military group soon found out Tyrant's grimy scheme, and they were furious. The thing was that the gestalt of separation process had already begun, so that there was no way to stop him now. At least that's what Tyrant thought, because if he was trying and trick the government, the government was making sure that he would get his just desserts. And so, his replicant was destroyed completely, perpetually entrapping Tyran as a gestalt forever. Certain right. Across the ages, Tyran wandered around, 
is petty and angry, obsessing bodies of unsuspected replicants for joy thrills before they couldn't contain him anymore and just die. That is, until he found a wanted, white-haired girl with a foul mouth that seemed to be on the verge of death. The tyrant tried to take over, but the foul mouth lady was quite tenacious and did not give in, and basically trapped Tyrant inside of her for years to come. Oh well, boy! Time sure flies within these telling stories. Not much remains before we reach our true end, my children. So stay sharp as we push through to the end. And remember, use the promo code your hat to get 10% off of your next high damage machine busting weapon purchase. Till the next story, children. On with the show. Nicely done. All right. <laughs> oh, I was waiting for this story for a while now. I don't remember how the sleep the prayer I was trying in that intro, but I'm glad I did. Hmm. Hey, Greg. Hey, Greg. Hi, Greg. And hi, oh, Dodger. <clears throat> like, my bars are, are, are going up and down. Yeah, no, it's fine. You're good. All right. I hopefully that came off. Yeah, everything everything was heard loud and clear. It's Perfect. just being screwy. It's nothing to... I mean, it will add to the ambience, I guess, with my robot voice. Which well, I assume no I turned off, so. right? No, you didn't. You're still a robot. Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, right now, am I still in the robot voice? No. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, Audrey says, like, she can hope later after doing some stuff she needs to do, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. But anyways, Not yet. Uh, last time on Near Replicant, we started Route B, learned more about Kaine's past, that she was... Cruelly treated about the uh, and mm -hmm. beaten by, by, the by the other kids simply for being intersex. And, yeah. And then she was adopted by an old foul-mouthed woman who, uh, who had raised her. Mm -hmm. And we learned that shadows actually can speak and have some sort of sentience, so they're not exactly the same monsters that we thought we they were. Mm-hmm. And we kill BP again. Don't forget that part. Mm -hmm. I I think that that's the no, no the last thing we did was blew up the area again. Yeah. But unlike everything else, I think they deserved it. Mm. So we're yeah. on that front. They pretty much they pretty much went mad. Mm hmm. No. Nope. Again, the 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 gestals do. Go crazy after a while if if separated for too long. Mm -hmm. So it, it all falls on the Shadow Lord to keep them at bay, but the Shadow Lord now is being a jerkwad, so he, more and more gestalts are going rampant eh, with each passing day. All just because he really Couldn't wants wait his a little bit longer. It's all because he wants his replicant body back right here and now. And especially for his him. sister. Yeah. That's the thing. It's less about the Shadow Lord wanting to go back into his body. It's more that he just wants Jonah, the full Jonah, back together again. Mostly because he thinks that will fix her illness, because she already had an illness before the separation. Mm -hmm. But that's not really gonna happen. The gover the reason why the government like kept like kept trying to haggle with him was because no we can't really cure her but if we just tell him that flat out he's just going to fucking not ref refuse to not be the shadow lord hey, Popola. ah you're back have you learned anything more about the shadow lord's key i'm sorry but it's going to take me some time yet now so, if i well, think i'm correct I this will take us back to the hmm. oh yeah for the the shipwreck uh, again can I ask ah you yeah that sure that again that's good be extra long this time, supposedly, if I not, remember what you heard. It's not extra long, but it will have some added sequences. So, I'm starting to worry. We're clearing this game faster than I predicted. So, anything that can stall you and, and get us one extra stream works for me. Mm -hmm. No, but seriously, we may need to, like, talk of it off screen about, like, how are we going to do this if we get too too far ahead because again I have two st two more major stories to tell and those are also important. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident that we might get to the end of Route B tonight. Yeah. Might. 
This is we new. We did cover a lot of. Yep, this is new. Seen fog this thick before. Huh? What's that? Now we're seeing how he met the little girl. It seems. Wandering into this size crawling dimension. Hard to believe a ship of this size managed to run aground. Hmm. What should I get from hmm. Pizza Hut? What was that? Mm -hmm. Pizza what or like pizza? Huh? I mean, if you're gonna order from Pizza hey, Hut, I imagine pizza. There? Well, I mean, Pizza or Pizzone. I mean, they also have that uh, okay, giant I'm cookie that is very, stuff. very good. Maybe oh yeah, no, I always get a chocolate chip town? cookie as a dessert. But, well, or a triple brown chocolate brownie. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. We don't I, I, last time I checked they don't get they don't have those here. But we don't huh. have pizza hut. It's just that huh. Now I'm curious how more what how one of those cookies there tastes like. They taste very good. It's a giant Hershey's chocolate chip cookie. Ooh, that's that uh, does sound scrumptious. Mm -hmm. Like you know the her, the Hershey and Nestle chocolate chip cookie recipe you get on the bag of the chocolate hey, chips. It's okay. Uh huh. You don't need to be it's scared. basically that, but manufactured at a larger scale with exacting ingredient amounts. God, that sounds like a stomach pain that is worth it. <laughs> no, it's not stomach pain. It's pure bliss. Well, for me, I I, I sometimes kind of like when I got too much candy, I just hurt. Hmm. It's not that much, and you'll be fine, I think. I mean, no, you're right. I'm absolutely Look, kidding. I like as long like, as it's not Domino's. Yeah, Domino's is still. <laughs> I can't eat there. Papa John's. How are you feeling? Oh, definitely Papa John's. That's well, bad in every country. Yeah. No, Pop, Papa John's. Yeah, something red, they yeah. did. I love their dough. It's nice and sweet. I don't. I I find it. Ugh. Honestly, my favorite pizza place is Papa Murphy's, which is a take and bake. Meaning, they fix everything fresh there, then you take it home and you cook it to how you want it done. You must have been starving. Well, look, no one's I'm Italian, so my taste in pizza is very expensive. She just likes plain margarita, but she only gets the small ones, so you gotta pay like $50 to fill her up. You can't just keep calling you. I mean, you got a name. Not wrong. You're not but, denying it. <laughs> You're not wrong. God damn it. <laughs> no, but I don't know. I like. I mean, as long as it's good. This is going nowhere fast. Yeah. Well, what about um? What about the small, the more recent chains of like yeah, brick-fired pizzas, these? like a mod pizza? I mean, it just sort of popped I've never, into my I've never head, had that. What do you think? You can't even it's a really speak good and place. She doesn't even have a name. Nope. Well, we can't can't call speak, her Louise. Guess, well. It's nice to meet you, Louise. But, uh, Mod Pizza is a little, uh, chain across the country that, uh, one of its big things is giving those who have served their time, regardless of criminal, of past, a job and fair pay. That's I mean, very, I, that's very good. Um, the yeah. yeah, like, that's the whole, that's the big mission statement of the company is... Lots if I remember right, that. the creator of the France, of the chain actually was a uh, was a fel former felon himself, so he uh, mm, he wanted to give a place where they could get a job and hopefully not slide back. Yeah. Oh yeah, yep. no, I paid fifty bucks to get him pied with it, or smacked in the face with a whipped cream pie when he was still a process assistant. Hmm. Good. <laughs> Like, he like, was not like eligible for friend. he was not eligible for the pieing. I asked them actively, look, if I pay fifty bucks, will you pie this motherfucker in the face? And he went, sure, I'll go with it. Hey there, it was charity too, so it's not like fifty dollars was wasted either way. <laughs> that must be cathartic. Oh, it absolutely would have been if I'd gone to watch it, but he was the front half shift, not me, not back half. I don't have any and I've always been back after. Wait, so she has a red bag, 
Uh, he's supposed to still have his, right? I think so. Or maybe he did get. Uh, maybe he gave the bag. It's hard to tell when everything is black and white. It's a ribbon. Yeah. 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 Let me tie it in your hair for you. I can't remember if Pizza Hut has a uh, ordering limit on how much you must spend. Me, to get a delivery. Well, me for Domino's, it's like nice. ten bucks. Well, they're not stopping me, so I assume that twelve, that one pizone, a free order of breadsticks and a cookie are enough. Uh, yeah, tomorrow's gonna be tiring. Well, that's a stroke of luck. Let's go ahead and check out your new look. But I'm also gonna make like a large chunk of my regular paycheck for at most twelve hours. Holy shit! Uh, also, I wanna like back on the game a little bit. I, I gotta point out this is not the ferryman. This is the postman. Oh yeah, yeah. So, oh okay. Re re remember, we saw a pile of corpses underneath the ship. Right. So as pretty as unsentimental this thing is, we can't need to remember that part. Right, right. The ferryman's yeah. dead at this point. Uh. -huh. And so is the postman. Oh, right, and okay, of, she has and a lot red of bag. People who, we should work yeah, on and a lot of people be, be, before that. Together. That is morbid. And she Whoa, doesn't like look. sunlight, so... She's a busy person. Creature thing. We'll, we'll get more information about her as we go along. Yeah. I already but, see where this is going, considering everything we've been through. I mean, yeah, but everybody does stuff for a reason. We we went through this. That that's the, like the thematic of this game in particular. We'll we'll understand whatever it is, good or bad, eventually. Mm -hmm. And I went back to check that out earlier today because I was actually really curious. Have they managed to do anything in two hey, years' please? time? No. Nope. <laughs> yeah, no. No, they actually have. Oh, wait, they actually. Going? Aren't you hungry? They fixed the bugs. Like I played for a good two hours earlier today. Been eating much lately. And yeah, I but at least, want... but I guess they never informed people. This. So. Well, yeah, that's kind of the big problem. Is Anthem fell drastically into the uh, yes. times. Oh. Because of its uh, bad launch. Is it wrong that this makes me think yeah, of them? Um... Sorry about that. It's called a song. Humming a jaunty tune is the best thing for putting a spring in your step. Songs are like a little bit of wisdom that makes the tough times easier. I love them personally. I mean, not that I'm any good at singing. I can't believe they can sing as accordion. <laughs> oh, your voice is a bit rough there. But you're actually pretty good. It just makes me think of uh, Animal Crossing. Yeah. KK Slider. Yeah. You know, I knew some. Well, just any singing in general, mm -hmm. really. She died. Yeah, like how it, how the villagers tend to like she used to hum the same song, song randomly. I heard it every time I stopped by to deliver. I'm uh, taking you're talking about the story of up. from Anthem. Or is, me? Or is it No Man's Sky, Greg? Of course, that was quite a while ago. Uh, oh, I think, I, oh, yeah. I, think, I, I think he means Anthem. Yeah, uh. most likely he means Anthem. I mean... Uh, hey, are, the, are does the story have... Me up? <laughs> and is the story worth <laughs> effort? Kind of. Eh, like, getting to the post-game, honestly, is worth it. Because the post-game has actually stepped up a lot. Because, like, here's, here's my big thing. Anthem is one of those really that could be really fun to play with friends. Because it actually balances your role yeah. in a fight. Is it a shade? Pretty uh, well, the classes of javelin that you have. Tyron's the name of, of that guy who tried to screw things up over in the Gestalt Project. Well, yeah. Uh, it's, that's why I said the story. <laughs> well, he didn't try to screw things up. He just tried to whistle his way into the project mm. because he already had fucked up with his superiors and no way they were going to let him in. Mm -hmm. So he changed his name to Tyran and he just 
slipped right into that until he was found out and then they just destroyed the replicant so he will remain a shade forever. Now he's fused with Kaine permanently. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's wrong, Kaine? But that's also the thing that's frustrating to me, Crow, is I'm sensing a presence from on the surface something and like a shade. in its most taste form, in the town? Anthem delivered that's on like something that other games like it struggle or fail entirely to do. And what's that? Clearly define your role in a battle and give you a sense of purpose in that role. Hmm. Yeah, oh, I used tried. that. Yeah, I used the. I used that one too, girl. I haven't. Well, I tried that one earlier today. I haven't actually tried or done anything major with the third one, which again, storm. I think I don't know. I'm gonna just Google it. So, were you able to write that letter? You know, now that I've taught you how. Hmm. Not yet, huh? There's blood right next to her feet. Uh, mm -hmm. I just, I did not say it. You know, it makes me happy that you've taken such a shine to me. First I guess it's we Interceptor. Met, I didn't have the foggiest idea what was going on in that head of yours. So, hey, I've been thinking. Yeah, it's Interceptor. You come live with me. It might be kind of nice to have a daughter around. You know, I just yeah, realized. Yeah, that's not happen. Mm. I never actually used the uh, Ranger Javelin. Guess the only I'm one sure I have, it's the one I don't I'm have, which is it, odd to me. It's your choice, of course. Huh? The floor's wet. Oh boy! Wait, is this blood? Oh dear! Are you? Hmm. And he did. Yeah, it's probably not that, but yeah, it it's it's basically her eating people. Nom nom. Come on, don't or tell me or just tearing them again. apart. You of all people gotta know what this smell means. This ship is in poor condition indeed. Oh yeah, and though I'm looking at it right now, girl. And bring its timbers down around us, hussy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Okay, Squall. <laughs> and again. You've been going silent, like. You sure you're all right, Kanye? You no, I had to deal with an asshole off. in my brain 24/7. I, I know how that feels. I deal with myself 24/7. Exactly. Sure. Let's do that. Sounds good. Take care of Kanye for us, Emil. Emil is on the case. Come on, Kanye. Let's get the letter. I would buy Detective Emil the spin-off. Hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah.